Welcome to a code report solution video. In this video, we're going to be solving a single problem in five different languages. We're gonna start with Python, and then we're gonna do four different array languages. In order, we will do BQN, then CAP, then Dialog APL, and we will finish with WeWa. So the problem we will be solving in this video is entitled Check Order. It's problem number one from the Perl Weekly Challenge 307. And the problem states that you're given an array of integers, ints, write a script to rearrange the given array in an increasing order and return the indices where it differs from the original array. So in the first example, it shows you the list of integers five, two, four, three, and one. If you sort this, you get one to five, and then you can see every integer except for the two does not match, and therefore we need to return the indices corresponding to those values that don't match, which is every index from zero to four, excluding the index number one. First up, we are going to take a look at our Python solution. This is our Python solution, or at least my Python solution. You could solve this with a loop, but if you are a regular viewer of this channel, you know that I am not a huge fan of loops. And in this solution, we're making use of a ton of built-in functions. So we're making use of enumerate, zip, and sorted. Enumerate is gonna bundle our index with the sequence that we pass it. And in this case, the sequence we are passing it is the result of zip, which is zipping together our original list and a sorted version of that list. And then from there, we're making use of iterable unpacking, which is the I comma paren A comma B. The A comma B is destructuring or unpacking the result of our zip function, and the I comma is unbundling the index from that. And then we can just make use of the if statement to check if our two elements from our original list and our sorted list do not equal each other. And when they do not equal each other, we want to retain that index I. So a pretty nice solution in Python. Now let's take a look at how we would solve this in our first of our four array languages. The first array language we're gonna look at is BQN. So the first thing we want to do is we want to sort our list. In BQN, this is a single primitive, and we now have our three different sorted lists. We now want to check equality with the original list, and if we're doing this in an explicit style, we're just going to call our double struct x equal the sorted version, and now we have what we call a Boolean mask. So the ones correspond to where the elements are equal, but in this case, we actually want where they are not equal. So we wanna replace this with the not equal function, and now we have a mask representing where the values are not equal to each other. And if we're gonna follow the Python style of basically bundling this sequence with a list of indices and then compressing that, we can do that by initially just pairing our original sequence, and then in order to get the indices, we can just do a range of the length, and now we have our index sequence, and if we want, we can then take the compression, but we're gonna have to swap this in order to get the correct indices. So this is the right answer. However, all of this actually exists in a single primitive called indices in BQN, and it's called where in the APL languages as well as WeWa. So we can just replace this with a single primitive and we get the exact same thing. So very beautiful and we can make it even more beautiful. If you are a fan of array languages and have watched my other videos, you will know that this is explicit and I am not a fan of explicit code when the tacit code can be used. In this case, we have a pattern where we are applying a binary function after applying a unary function to one of our arguments, and then the other argument to the binary function is just the original list. So we can replace this with the monadic after, delete the double struct, struct x's, and that is gonna leave a unary function when combined with another unary function forms the B combinator, and so this is the tacit version of our solution. Very beautiful, gotta love BQN. Let's move over to our first of the APLs. We're gonna solve this in cap now, it is extremely similar, so we are going to sort, which looks the exact same as it does in BQN. And now what we want to do is we want to make a call to, I'm actually not sure what this is called in CAP, but it is the equivalent of the monadic before or after. And note that our not equal to is an associative function, so this is gonna work just fine for our case. 
And now we want to make a call to where, and because CAP is a zero indexed language like BQN, we don't need to do any adjustment. The reason I mention that is because in our next language, we go to dialog APL, which is a one indexed language. So we're going to have to do a minus one adjustment. This is going to be a lot less beautiful folks because there is no sort primitive. There is now in dialog 20, the behind, which is the equivalent in some sense to before in BQN. So we can do in close a top grade behind squad. And I believe that is our sort function now. And if we combine this with another behind and we do the not equal to, we're going to get our mask and then we call where here, and that is going to get us the indices, but they're one indexed. And this problem is asking for it to be zero index. So we're going to have to do a one minus with the swap or flip or C combinator in order to permute the arguments that we are passing. And then we have our solution. So this is our solution in dialog APL. Nice now that we have the behind that is in dialog 20.0, but obviously much less beautiful than the BQN and CAP equivalents. And last but not least, let's move over to our WeWa solution. So this is going to look very similar to our BQN and CAP solutions. The first thing we want to do is call the sort function. And then in months past, we would have duplicated this argument and then used the not equal to, but you'll notice that we get a warning duplicate or duplicate is deprecated and will be removed. And it's asking us to make use of the by primitive, which is going to give us the mask that we want. And here we're going to make a call to the where function, which I believe is the target symbol. It is indeed. And this is our solution. So very similar in spirit to the BQN and CAP solutions. Let me know in the comments down below which of the array languages were your favorite or if Python was your favorite. And if you've got alternative solutions, feel free to leave them there as well. I will be posting a follow-up video to this video that covers the same problem and looks at Python solutions in a number of libraries like NumPy, Jax, KuPy, and also a couple other languages and libraries. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. Have a great day.